Hey YouTubers, I'm back with some more movie reviews, so let's get started. Um, the movies I have is True Grit, Tracker, and the, and the Ward. Now, none of these movies are actually really bad. They're actually very well done, very good movies, and I highly recommend watching all of them. If you haven't seen them, go check them out. If you have seen them, let me know what you think. Um, what your opinion is. Uh, first movie I have is True Grit, starring Jeff Bridges as Rooster Gogburn, Cogburn, Haley Steinfeld as Maddie Ross, Matt Damon as LeBeau, Jeff, Josh Brolin as Tom Chaney, and Barry Pepper as Lucky Ned Pepper. Now, this movie is about a girl who is seeking revenge for her father's death, who's Josh Brolin's character who is killed. And she hires a, a bounty hunter to track him down and bring him to just to her her own kind of justice to get revenge on her father. Matt Damon's character is after the same guy that uh, she is, so she and he ends up working with her. And the movie is actually very well done. I actually like this one a lot better than the original True Grit. The Coen brothers did an awesome job on the movie on remaking a classic John Wayne film. If you haven't seen the original True Grit, I recommend checking that one out. It was pretty good, but I have to say this one I liked a lot better. So, I give this movie a 10. It was, like I said, it was very well done and well casted. And, I mean, they even... Barry Pepper, good looking guy, they did an awesome job just messing his face up giving him the crooked, nasty-looking teeth and split lip and all the other kind of cool uh, makeup effects and stuff. They did a really good job on all the characters and stuff in a very well-done movie. The next movie I have is The Ward. Starring Amber Hard as Kirsten, Mamie Gummer as Emily, Danielle Pan Panabaker as Sarah, Laura Lee as Zoe, Lindsay Fonsina as Iris, Jared Harris as Dr. Stinger, Sally Sailors as Tammy, and Susan Berner as Nurse Lunt, D.R. Anderson as Roy, and Julian Krumer as Ghost Alice. Now, it's about this girl who gets put in the ward because she's for some odd reason she burns down her house this house and she gets ca caught by the police and taken to this ward now this ward things are starting to happen there's some stuff that there's some other stories going on that you, you slowly start to develop throughout the whole entire movie it's it's a very well done really good suspense thriller and suspense suspense psychological thriller it was a really good movie, really good effects. The ghost is kind of cool looking, how they did uh, Ghost Alice's character and stuff. Made her kind of grotesque looking and everything. And there's more story to that of what happened to her and how come she's going on a killing spree and all this other stuff. It's a really, really good movie. And I guess... I guess movie. I guess it's a movie at ten. This one was actually pretty good. I thought it was. I thought it was well done. And the interesting thing is done, in Bend or it was done in Bend, Oregon, in the Bend Psychiatric Hospital, which I thought was kind of cool that they used Oregon, where I'm from, well, where I'm living. Um, the next movie I have is the Tracker. Starring Ray Winston as Aaron Van Dam, Van Dam, Tarunu, Tarunu Marison as Kuramo, Kuramo, Gareth Reeves as Major Pitcher, Picard, Mark Mitchison as Saunders, Daniel Musgrave as Private Rannick, Andy Anderson as Bryce, Mick Ross as Sergeant LeBourne, and Jody Helka as Lucy. Now, this takes place shortly after the... Oh, goodness. This movie takes place after... 
after the after a war. I can't remember the name of the war. You'll have to watch the movie to find out what the name of the war is. And one of the guys who's part of this war that was in Africa was comes to try and find his own place and stuff. And he gets kind of sought out by the, the local people that are British that he ended up having to fight against in his, in the war that he was in, in the previous war that he was in before coming over to try and get his own place. And, uh, and uh, to stake his claim. He ends up getting signed for a deal to do some catch a guy who was wrongfully accused of a murder that he did not commit that some other guy committed during a fight but blamed him so he didn't get in trouble but because the guy was an Indian plus all the blame on the Indian for him killing his own friend and stuff out of stupidity and drunkenness and so they go he makes he makes his great escape and and tries and covers his tracks but Ray Winston's character finds him and kind of tracks him down and follows him. It's a really good movie, very well done, and it kept me at the edge of my seat all at all the times. It was it was a fun movie. To, it was a fun movie to watch, and plus it has a little bit of history into it. You can actually check out the war that this movie has kind of mentions, and it actually really took place, and it was kind of cool. I love that when they have some history into a lot of these movies or in movies and stuff. And facts. So check out the tracker. I gave this movie another I, another movie that I gave a ten. I mean, all these movies are very well done in their own way. If you like a suspense thriller, get the ward. If you want a couple good westerns, the tracker and True Grit are really good westerns. So I have nothing bad to say about any of them. They're well done, and I rate me, fate me, and see you next movie review. Later.